Hi there folks, this is how to prepare and cook a duck, part 3. Part 1 we showed you how to prepare the bird, part 2 we roasted that lovely duck, and 3 we're going to concentrate on these breasts. And I'm going to do a real simple dish with this and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, these breasts, they're not like the farm ones so they haven't got so much fat, but I'm going to show you how to pan fry a wild duck breast to perfection. It takes 11 minutes. We're going to serve this with some uh, roasted butternut squash and then we're going to make a sauce with that lovely game stock I made. You can check the video and I've made a demi glass here. It's almost like rubber, it's the way it should be. And that is basically just a equal parts of game stock but then you actually make a spaniel sauce which is just carrots, onions, sweat it down in a bit of butter add some uh, flour to make a roux until it browns add in your stock add in some uh, tomato paste and then you let it boil away basically and you skim off all the scum and you pass it through a few times and when you let it cool down you're left with that lovely that instant sauce mix, it's fantastic so what I'm going to do first of all is I am going to half, because I'm only going to use half, I'm going to do one portion uh, peel de-seed and chop that up and we're going to get that in the oven that so we want to get that in the oven because that takes 45 minutes at gas mark 6 with this dish that's what takes the time but it's so simple so I'm going to cut that in half peel it, de-seed it and I'll show you we'll get it in the uh, in the dish just with some olive oil, some thyme, oregano or to my friends over the pond oregano and some salt and pepper so I'll get on with that and we'll get the camera back on so there's my squash, I've cut it in half I have peeled it, de-seeded it, and all I'm going to do into little chunks. There's a little story that goes with these. Where I walk my dog on the usual route, they've been growing these for a supermarket organically, and I've been having my eye on them, and I've noticed that they've stopped picking them. And I said to the uh, guy who works, I said, what are you going to do with these now? And they're going to plough them in. They're going to plough all these lovely squashes that are left into the ground. So I thought, not on my watch baby so I had a couple of them away it's just an absolute joke you know they don't make the right size for the supermarket or they don't look all uniform and they're going to just plough it all in all that wasted food so what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you a quick photo of that field and you can have a look what's left and you think all that food is going to be ploughed in mad mad anyway Let's get these in here. All you do, you can use pumpkin for this as well, be just as good. Fantastic. A pumpkin's not always for cutting a silly face in and putting a candle in. Anyway, olive oil, throw some pepper in. I mean, you could leave the skin on if you want, but I just like it. And it all mushes down. Fantastic. I'm just going to put a bit of thyme. A bit of oregano. I'm just going to get a little bit more salt. Give me salt. Get some nice sea salt in there. Give it a mix. That goes in the oven now. 40-45 minutes. Starts roasting nice. Then we will get our duck breast a rock in. Okay. I just want to show you these roasted squash. It's coming on lovely sizzle sizzle away fantastic that's been half hour so what we're going to do now is going to get the duck on now like I said this takes 11 minutes it's simple fail safe works every time so I'm going to get the camera positioned put that back in the oven for the last 10 minutes and we'll cook that breast so I've got my heat on but I haven't put my pan on so I'm going to leave that cold all I'm going to do is just score gently a couple of lines in this skin you know to render any fat that's in there like I said not like a farm look there ain't a lot in there so uh, it can start releasing it and also it doesn't you know tighten up when we start cooking it it's a bit of pepper a bit of salt right pan on cold pan come in a bit for you cold pan breast in so you start it off just in the pan cold and you bring that up to the heat this is the trick 
prove it takes 11 minutes I'm not going to show the whole process obviously it's in press start and away we go you watch someone ring me now right so that's just starting to sizzle that's on the high heat that is once you put it in your pan don't be tempted to touch it that's just starting to go so I'm just going to add a drop of oil only a little bit of olive oil just to help it on its way swirl it around and we should leave that now for seven minutes we won't touch that I know it's hard to do we won't touch it for seven minutes and then we'll turn it over and we'll finish it flesh side for four and I should show you on the clock how we're getting along but I don't want to show the whole process because the video will take too long so we'll pop back in a minute so that's halfway through still skin side down we want it to get nice and crisp you know and a little bit of caramelization and just to prove there we are just four minutes now so you know we've turned that heat down once I've initially put in that pan get the sizzle on turn it down and just let it tick over okay seven minutes no trickery no tomfoolery turn it over wants to look like that lovely just lay it there we're going to just do the flesh side now for four minutes it's going to take the heat out the pan a bit more up onto the lowest setting as we sizzle sizzle away and I'm just put another butter in and we shall baste that lovely duck press when that's melted a bit all over that skin start basting it that's lovely and crisp and in the meantime I shall turn off my uh, butternut squash if you're concerned you're not getting the full contact just get your spatula fish slice just press it down but to be honest we're nine minutes in now another couple of minutes give it another baste then we can let it rest continue feeding it this lovely butter how can two simple ingredients look so nice that lovely butter and that lovely duck anyway I'm going to turn it off just to prove 10 minutes 21 seconds a few more seconds another base we'll turn that off cover it in foil and we're going to rest that for at least 10 minutes and then we're going to get onto that fantastic sauce and the dummy glass I explained to you I should do a video of that later on you know it's not complicated it sounds harder than it is but it's fantastic it beats any stock cube you really must give it a go I mean you can make it freeze it I mean it will last for a long time in the fridge as it is anyway in that rubbery state so that has been 11 minutes so turn the heat off foil over take it off the heat we'll rest that for 10 minutes easy peasy right let's do this sauce this is one of my own creations believe it or not so into my pan I'll put it in a pan so you can see it you know you've just got to think how much you want so I'm just going to put a couple of drops in I mean with this recipe I'm doing it for one you can easily just multiply this by two four no problem you know just go with this so we're going to bring that game stock the lovely game stock I made yesterday out of the duck and the, uh, the pheasant bones and if you want to know how to make that check my other video so once that comes up to the boil we're going to tip in not tip in we're going to place in some of that lovely demi glass we're going to finish it with some cream some mustard some salt and pepper then we're going to finish the dish so I'm going to let that come up to the boil and we'll come back so that lovely homemade game stock is just coming up to boil now I'm going to scoop a couple of this demi glass in fantastic just stir it in with this my favorite tool 49p it's an amazing bit of kit so what we're doing is we'll whisk that demi glass in releases all those flavors of the vegetables that reduce stock tomato puree lovely so we're going to let that sizzle away boil away for a bit get, let it get to know each other and we'll add our cream our mustard 
a nice seasoning. Right, let's add a bit of cream. Lovely double cream. Teaspoon of Coleman's mustard. Give that a stir up. We're going to let that come back up to heat. We're going to crank some pepper in. What we want to do with that is we want to reduce that a bit so it thickens up, becomes nice and rich. And that will be lovely. Duck's been 10 minutes resting, not a few minutes. Be plate up time. So there's my sauce just reducing a bit. That lovely nut, uh, butternut squash there. Uh, I love it. Reminds me of a cross between parsnip and swede. Fantastic. There's my duck breast. Rest again. Let's put the juice in there. A little bit of liquid gold. Give that a final stir. Lovely. While I'm doing that, we'll have a look at this duck. Cut it on the bias. We want it nice and pink to be cooked to perfection. No blood. What do you think of that? Hey, I almost know what I'm doing. That to me is perfection. Put it back together onto this plate. Just get me a spoon. Take some of this butternut squash. I could just eat a dish of that butternut squash. I'm loving it at the moment. Mmm. A bit more. We just place our duck. On it like that. Turn our sauce off. our sauce a bit over that duck a bit round and there you have it how to prepare and cook a duck part three pan fried duck breasts with butternut squash now you've got to admit that looks good Share a piece of that duck. That is cooked to perfection. That sauce. Mm. Some of the squash. That. Excuse me. I'm not joking. That is awesome. Such a great combo my rescued squash that lovely wild duck you must give it a go as you see it takes 11 minutes works every time that is as good as any steak thanks for watching see you again that was all she wrote baby even a pooch none for you baby